Yeah. So, Tony, we were all saying that in the last match, That's Gavin fair. beat um, at the very, very final hurdle, 15-14 in the fifth game, beat Matt, Matt Ware, the Bournemouth bomber, um, and the closest of margins, Let's but Matt go. seemed to have a stronger backhand, and that's what took it close. I think Jenny Milkin has got a stronger backhand again than Matt Ware, so can Rumgay hold off this player? Yeah, it's going to be, gonna be interesting to see, isn't it? I mean, I, I sort of see what Darius is saying, and, and Jenny has certainly played fantastic yesterday. What I would say is I felt he played two quite similar attacking players, One both very English strong on, on both service. wings. Um, Ye yesterday, but they they don't really change the pace and so on. Gavin is such a clever player. I think this is a very different game, and I certainly wouldn't rule really it out. One, two. There you go, great play two, back and attack there, and I think that's seven. where um, Mumbo's going to struggle because at this level you've got to play the whole game, the whole the whole court. I mean, he loves it. Double points so early. Yes. Double point ball. So Gavin, this history is he's the earliest player to use the double point balls. Two all in the first. You only use it on your court, and he's dropped that one. Two, three. I, I don't get it. He always says what it is, is he, he loves front running, he says, which is amazing because he's probably the best player at coming back. But there you are, he says he loves to front run and he wants to get that advantage in as early as possible. I, I get it, but I mean, um, I just, it's not like it's 3 1 you win and you go forward. That's a big, big jump, you know, you can relax a bit, you can suss him out a bit more, have some clear tactics, but, you know, he, he's. Don't get it. Like 2 or 4 2, doesn't feel a lot to you. No, it's nothing, it's, it's not even the first. You know, third it's of the uh, game. But you know, what, what do I know? You know. Well, they've all got their Stop ideas, and all got their methods, three, all four. got their psychology. <laughs> so nothing four in it at the moment. Service. Eight serves gone. Four points a piece. A, a piece. And yeah, I think we will see that Milken has a stronger attacking backhand. But like you say, Tony. Gavin has got a fantastic movement and a consistent backhand. Good movement. Beautiful, from Gavin. Beautiful, yeah. I mean, I think, you know, what, what Rangi has got on Milken is obviously just a, no, no chance, sorry, is a, it's just the experience and the higher level and tapeness and ping pong, obviously. But I do think Milken is just a better, complete player. You know, look at that. He's wow. playing, he's really just Six, now he's got his spine in stride. He's in a little bit of control. I think it'd just be. Can he hold his nerve, you know? And because Rangui is such a big character and he's not going to go down easy. If it's 3 0, it's going to be close, you know, one or two of these games. So I, mean, I can't see it being like that, but it's tough. Yeah, it's a big thing. Can Jania keep his nerve? He gets a lead. He's been to the quarterfinals before, though. It's not his only time in a quarterfinals event. This one, of course, the World Ping Pong Masters. Different event with 24 players all knockout. Different to the previous World Championship. Oh, easy Six mistake there. But, you know, he is playing against the run dog. You know, so um, it's, it's, it never count him out. Yeah, that's the thing for me, is the players who played yesterday are, are trying to bomb the ball at G Junior. With, with Gavin, he's finding ways to make him miss. He's got a slightly different mindset. And one of the things that Junior struggled at yesterday was when these slower balls coming forward, he tended to overhit them, which is exactly what happened there. Yeah, so Gavin will change the pace, and that time, instead of the slow ball, went in very, very fast on the follow-up from the serve. Bang. Great stuff from Gavin. And I do think that Geniet isn't quite so good at coming in for the slower ball once he's away from the table. Well, let's look for that variation from Gavin. Oh, great recovery there from Gavin. Great, great stuff. He should have lost that point. He's, he's the best at, at winning points that he's got no chance in. Coming back from the dead in rallies. Well done, Gavin. Slow ball again, like he said, he, he's not so good from the slow. I've just seen that now, actually, yeah. yeah. So, no doubt. Oh, Gavin, what a great reach. That was fantastic. There's two points there. Milken could have been ahead by now, but Gavin's work rate, look at the way he got to that wide forehand. Played the next one as well. Really delighted with that. Moving beautifully. Yeah, I mean, what, what I've seen is that Mil Milchen is making quite a bit of easy service. mistakes, but actually, I'm guessing that's because from the the ball pace change, you know, where, why he's making the mistakes. No, no doubt. Yeah. 
And that's what you were saying, Tony, previously. He's played uh, Maxime and before that, Christoph Zakhar, both players that are very powerful, but more one pacing. And, Gar Ten, and uh, Gavin, seven. Um, well, he just changes the pace and varies the dynamics of the rallies so much. Yeah, I t tell you what, that was a great serve from Gavin, because what I'd been noticing was J Genia was doing really well with the flick of the short serve. Gavin had scrambled a couple back and won the point, but his flick was really strong. So he just changed it up there, went for a long serve, long fast serve, and got the error straight away. What Gavin will call a lovely cheap point. Seven, yeah, 11, no, no, definitely. But I mean, service. even with this game now, I mean, Gavin's actually playing really tactically. It's not only the best I've seen him play. Seven. But um, again, I just can't I get that, that 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 double point being being used. And actually, now he looks definitely like the stronger and better player. His uh, level of experience is coming through. Eight, eleven. Yeah, thanks, Darius. What I saw in practice this morning, they don't get very much time on the table because they've just got to take it in terms one-on-one -on -one to, to practice on the uh, on the main oh, table. Great serve and great shot well, from Gavin. But what, is, uh, what, what Gavin was practicing this morning in the competition hall uh, was taking the return of serve very, very early, sometimes pushing short, sometimes pushing fast and long. And we're seeing him do it here. He's made a couple of mistakes with them, but a couple of them have worked, started to work quite well. So good work from Rumgate at the beginning of this game. Tactical as ever. That's a big one again. 13. Think you like that one? And Gavin putting the nail in the coffin there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, can't afford to let Gavin get confident. Can't afford to be intimidated by the mental approach. That's a great return from. That's a great return Eight. from Milkin. But 14. what a great get again! Seven. Wide of the forehand from Gavin, scraping the ball up. Milkin missing down the line. Yeah, he's so fast getting across there. Him and Fleming, I'm surprised their left legs aren't twice the size of their Nine, right, the way they spring 14. off it all the time to that right-hand corner. No, absolutely. And what I've noticed is that Gavin actually is probably the only player that uses his serves actually give him a great advantage. Really, really big advantage. 14. I mean, he's, his taking serves are phenomenal, but Service. even in ping-pong, he's really getting one or two cheap points, you know, two or three cheap points in, in, in a set from his serve, and I don't see people using the serves effectively like Gavin. Okay, so 14 10, game point, best of five up to 15. Milken can win if he takes the next five points. There's no two clear points in this game. 14 all is sudden death. And the first opportunity, Gavin Rumgate, the toughest of tough competitors. And I think that Gavin was psyching up his coach, Miles Ross, rather than this man. Gavin is off to a great start. I'm lucky there from Gavin. She One was definitely step. favourite to win that point by clipping the net. Yeah, you can't win them all. <laughs> Typical from Gavin, scrambling back to get his backhand backspin in. Great footwork there. Great just service. patience in that rally. Gavin just chopping it and then coming back in, looking for the opportunity. Milking missing by what two centimeters? One, two. I think one thing for Jenny and Milken, he just mustn't allow himself to be surprised that the ball comes back. You've got to hit three, four shots once you've got the ascendancy in a rally to get through Gavin, not just one or two. Good work from Milken away from the table. Oh, yeah. he, was re he was retrieving Three, really, but he was um, attacking as he was service. back there. That final backhand from well wide of his left hip. What an amazing shot this is. Look, Look at that. that. Shot. Wow. Fantastic backhand. Oh. I just wonder oh. what we saw Alex One. Fleming do. Maybe it's a new German tactic to be able to play the backhand hard from outside your base, wide of the backhand. No, definitely. I mean, these guys have got their tricks. Oh, recovery shot from Milken, One, smashing from five, away from the court. Seven. He's metres from the table. Yeah, it seemed like it. And a uh, quick question, guys. How difficult is it to win the point when someone is back chopping? Because we see someone like Durant just doing big phase and big shots. I mean, I've not seen many people when they're chopping it back from the table and they're hitting it really hard. I mean, is it really that difficult? Two, five. 
the problem is obviously you don't get a m much arc on your forehand so if you hit it hard and you lift it too much there's no touch spin to bring it back down having said that because you can't get back spin or much back spin you don't see the defenders winning or attacking players defending much and being successful with it but it can keep them in the rally but you'll often see them try and attack again to actually win the point of course, but I saw Mark Levine yesterday, he won a big point oh. at 14 or defending and, and, you know, normally in pink tapes, it's when you're defending, it's game over, you know, especially if you're a tackle, but here's like, you're able to defend, the guy can't get through you properly, you're able to defend and get back into the rally with, with a bit of luck, so I'm just kind of like trying to answer Four, the question, how six, difficult is it to win that point service. if somebody is defending? Yeah, I think when it's close, uh, there's a bit more chance for the attacker to win defending, I think really it's all about the nerves at that point. Gotcha. Just one aspect of it. Just one aspect of it, yeah. Hey, we've got to uh, ten points into the game, and Rumgay hasn't used his second PowerPoint play. It's been quite unlucky this actually. Four, seven. Yeah, that is a surprise. But again, see if Gavin uses it now and wins, he's still behind. He wants to try and get that to be in ahead as a result of it. I think is the way he thinks. Yeah. Thank you. Great defence work from Milton. Eight. Well, he's uh, turning your theories on their, on their heads there, Darius. He's winning away from the table. Well, again, it's like I'm talking about, is it that hard to just crack that ball? You know, yeah. you know, I, I'm Why isn't Ga Ramge smashing it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, maybe, um, I think, for, for obviously, for the people watching, um, they should just, think just whack it, but it's actually a lot more difficult than it looks. It is. Yeah, I think it's a variation as well. Oh. It, what we're not seeing is, is defence winning if it's done all game. It's when it's just thrown in and that different flight just messes up the timing. <laughs> Nice shot there from one way, touching Five. the short and hitting it up Nine. deep into the back end. Service. Yeah, it seems that defence is good as a variation, but not as a constant tactic. Let serve. That's a nice return of serve, wasn't it? Really short. Showing it was a let. Let serve. That one not a bit higher. Concentration from Jamie here, looking really carefully at the serve. He's stuck away from the table again. Put it back in from Gavin Six. as well there. Nine. Top edge there in the end from Jamie. Took it miles off the end. That's why. Good flick from Jamie. But again, Gavin's up to the table, Nine. hitting forehands. Jamie has pushed back Seven. from the table. Yeah, definitely. This this first, this second set is far from over. I think Rumge might actually nip it. Another point. I think Genio might need a timeout. If he's two down against the, the, the better players, this is too tough. Great backspin from Genia. Nice and comes in for the hit. Nine, eight. That's where he's not quite so good. He's coming, walking back into the table. And I tell you what, this is the moment that Rumge lives for. He loves this, he loves this top side. You know, most people think, oh, why am I 9-8 now when it's 9-5? Hit Gavin's just like, let's go. This is when the game starts. Nine each service. I wonder, I wonder, now he's back to level whether he's thinking about the double point. I, I think now is a great time. I'm thinking, let's just really put the, try and put the nail in the coffin. Now I understand if he uses it. Well, that's there you go. Play. <laughs> Double point ball. So Rumgay taking the opportunity at the first chance to go ahead in this game. He struggled in this one, managed to get up to nine all, and now wants to turn the screw. Great long serve, great long serve with a bit of chop. I mean, 11, it's genius, nine, 11, great, great 11, thinking, nine. great tactics, beautiful. That serve. Uh, you, you almost knew it. As soon as you saw it go fast, I saw how fast his hand went down into that ball and how much backspin he would get on it, which was a real surprise with sandpaper. Excellent serve. <laughs> Same serve again. Lucky there. Fast side spin and backspin. Janie got it back okay, and then the smash into the net. 10-11. Milkin's the serve now. The question is, Milkin nicks this set and he's got two double points. I mean, a lot of emotion going on. Milken can stay up to the table. Wow, He's great, doing great. better. Beautiful. I thought Milken was going to hit it off, actually. I'm really, really scared of him at this point in time because he's hit those backhands a few of them out. He didn't go quite so big, did he? Just held on it a little bit. Make sure it went on the time. But he took that front really early. Well. I mean, that's, the, that's risky, that was. 
Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, wonderful play. Across the back end, straight down the line. Gavin, nowhere near that one. I don't want to watch anymore. Let's Again, serve. the fast serve into Milkin's back end. I think Milkin might have to go straight but as soon as he does this fast serve. Change the serve. Oh. Right oh. Straight to the fine because he knows Fonda wants to run around 14. because his fine is obviously predominantly much stronger. Oh, the swings and roundabouts in this game. Mil Milkin got a great start. Ronge claws his way back, gets his double point successfully. Oh. You think Milkin's out of it. He hasn't lost a point since. Oh. Yeah, great momentum from both players. Oh. Look at this. So far, he was miles away from the table, pulled it out, and straight down the line. Beautiful technique, leaning forward onto his right foot at the end. Terrific. Deliver their tactics on the other person, the best. I'm joined here by Darius Knight in the commentary box, and also Tony West. Love one. So Darius, this is what you are predicting. Yeah, kind of. I mean, I feel bad. I mean, I love Rumge. He's a great friend, but... Um, I mean, uh, I think this is a uh, Milchin's time, you know, to, sh to shine, and he is uh, performing under pressure. Yeah, he's done very well this year. He's been a nearly man in the World Championships of Ping Pong Pass, Jenny and Milchin. He's lost 15-14 um, against Philip Szymanski. He's been one game up in a best of three and 14 all against Alexander Fleming. He's so often nearly been there. But this has been the championships, the World Ping Pong Masters, where he's come to the fore. One, two. I'll just point out that um, Ronge's actually ahead here. Two, two points to one. Here yep. we go. But uh, the way that Genia put away Maxim Schmiria, three times world champion, was absolutely terrific. Three, one, service. So maybe it's Genia's year. Three, Great one. shots to the middle there, away from the table. Oh. Beautiful shot. Four. One. That's a great serve again and an amazing follow up. He's really hit that forehand hard, Four. straight down the line. Fantastic forehand from Rumgo. So Rumgo not deterred by losing the second game one. and that fantastic Five. performance from Milton. 5 1 up in the third. Such a tough competitor. Yeah, it's great from Rumgo. I mean, I think he wins about 30% 30, 30 of his points directly from his serve. Two, five. Okay, Jenny will be pleased with that one. Get back to two five. Another serve to go. And in the top left, you'll see that the double point ball has been taken three times, twice by Rumge, so he doesn't have any more in this match. Once by Jenny and Milken, Six, so when he's serving any time until he gets past 12 points in this game or a future game here against Rumgate, he can use his double point ball one more time. Rumgate steadies himself. Again, the fast serve across court to the back end, but Milton's ready for it. And that just looks Seven, a little bit casual. Two. Yeah, I think he thought he won the point already, actually, and then Rumgate um, got a great curl there and then just hit it off. He could have done everything, anything Seven. to get the ball on the table, but it's tough. You can see how Gavin Rumge was so wide, but he managed to curve the ball in. I think it surprised Milken that it came back at all. Rumge absolutely Two, loves eight, winning points like that. You service. can tell it, it just inspires him, and it hurts the other opponent more. It feels like two points to Rumge rather than one. That absolutely. No, definitely. It's like that in tapers as well. If you win the points, you should lose. And then now he's Two, a little bit lost a bit nine. of confidence now and just hitting a few balls out or in the net. Yeah, Gavin... A little shake of the fist towards Coach Miles Ross. Get this, I think he's saying. Two, seven. And that's the sort of ball that Mil uh, Milken didn't have when he was playing so well yesterday, that deep backspin ball. He didn't have that co to contend with. Everything was being hit hard at him. 
Yep, so Milshin having to, having to cope with the variation of Gavin Rungate. Ten. The three. attacking retrieving of Rungate has been fantastic throughout this game. That one just off the side. Milken has a very strong flick. I think that's one of the reasons we're seeing that faster serve coming from Gavin. That's yeah, well, that's credit to Milshin. If uh, Gavin's scared to serve short because Genius flick receive is so good, then credit to Milshin. But then he should be ready for the fast ones. Gavin serving from the forehand oh! side now. Great serve, look. Bit of chop there. I mean, he's probably the only guy that gets service. spin on his serves. I mean, it's actually crazy. I can't believe it. Oh, nearly, nearly, Three, nearly. 12. Unlucky, Genia. Went for the backhand down the line. Saw that Gavin had already run. Couldn't quite keep it on the table. 12, 4, service. I mean, I know Rumge is always known for his serving, but I'm so impressed with his serving in, in this game because what Milk is looking to do is get that backhand flick in. And that slower chopped serve right into the right hip really got him out of position. So clever with serving. Oh. Sorry, Gavin, I blame myself for that happening. Too clever for himself on that one. But, but I tell you what, the, the, the <laughs> difficulty trying to serve long and fast with these bats is really, really hard. You know, it's really, really hard, actually. Half-long serve. serve from Gavin. A little bit longer, so it's not e not so easy to flick. So you can see he's kind of tempting his opponent to flick it, but not so that he can flick it really hard. <laughs> Open play from Gavin. Five, Good change 13, of pace. Service. That's a beautiful ball from Genia. Six, Wait until 13. the last minute. Saw Gavin push across to the left and played wide of the forehand. Great stuff. A nice cheapy for Milken. Gavin again. Return of serve. Taking the ball 13, so early. Seven. Service. What do you reckon if he gets to 13 11 double point or, or 13 13 10 double point? Very tempting. So Gavin serving again from the forehand side. Goes for the fast serve. Really unlucky there. 13, got just to go unlucky eight. off the top of the net. can feel I think that Milkin's got his game back together so even though he's leading he feels under some pressure great flick from Milkin and a slow ball from Milkin oh, that was shot. really Eight, unlucky for the German he played a really great service. slow ball Gavin struggled with it but just clipped the top of the net and that was a lucky one that's a shame for the German especially coming back from behind when that happens stops your recovery 15 eight and there we have it as a result of that game. it ends up looking like an easy vic well wow. Love sorry i wonder one. if that was a change of tactic there because milken seemed to retreat really early in that rally under no no well, pressure yeah he was outside of warwickshire for a little while there wasn't he straight off the surf and he's gone for it again gone away from the table but now back in that's a very, very unusual choice of tactic at the start of the game. Yeah, I think Milton's just not sure how to play him right now. I think Rung is literally running laps around him. He's just not sure. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't mean, I'm not sure how, what, what he can do to really win because he's got to hit shots and shots and shots. Great shot from Rungay wide of Milkin's back Two, end. After one. that, Milkin was just stuck away from the table. I'm not sure this is the best way for Milkin to win from back here. Two, no, it's Gavin's so good at that shorter, rolled, sort of floaty forehand, and we, we've seen Milken actually isn't comfortable coming in to attack those balls. That's oh. dead lucky for Milken. Gets him back to two Service. all. I mean, is definitely in control of this match, I think. I think Milken just doesn't know what to do. Um, so um, if Rumgay looks like he's going to be running ahead. No! Three, two. Well, big risky one there from Gavin. Not sure that he had to take that much risk, actually, at this point. Yeah, I hope he doesn't have a close oh, couple Let's here. serve. Oh. Indeed. Oh, oh. Great shot, Ryan. Three each. That was the cross court of 
of course, is easier than down the line because it's a longer distance before it goes off the end of the table. So that one a little bit more successful for Gavin. It's interesting, I just saw Stephen Bagley there staring intently at what was going on in this match. Obviously the winner to play his brother, Andrew. There he is there. Yeah, so while Andrew... Oh, Andrew's there with him, actually. Andrew said he was going to go off and, and chill and have something to eat, maybe lay down, but actually he's decided to stay and watch to see who he's got to play and Contra how they're playing. Three, yeah, there's four. no need to miss that, you know, that's uh, this level and this time, I and mean, he's really just needs to just keep marching and putting the ball on the table. Yeah, so the Bagley's just studying everything about the, how the game's evolving, the tactics are evolving, and what's the best, best way to Four, play against either service. of these players. Looks like it might be Rumgay at the moment, two games to one up, but we know Milshin can come back from behind. He's beaten a three times world champion on the way through to this quarterfinal. His backhand is stronger than Gavin's on the attack, if Four, he can keep it consistent. Five. So, still plenty of threat for Gavin Rumgate. I'm sure that Andrew Bagley will be looking out for both players. Now, there's a forehand down the line from Gavin, but that's on a little bit more control, Darius. Yeah, but I think Monkton just looking at it, he just doesn't know what to do. His serves are completely changed. He just doesn't know what to do. He can't make his great shots on because Rumgate is so clever, changing the pace, running around, doing everything. Six. Yeah, it's just a fight that's keeping in, keeping him in the game. Yeah, just knowing that you've got to return Gavin serves impeccably to, to even have a chance. I mean, there's just so much pressure on him that you know he, he just can't find his rhythm. That's good. Five. Terrific seven, serve again, wasn't it? Just service. wasn't quite as much backspin on that one. Just didn't accelerate right into the ball as much, and Milken over lifts, Five, didn't spot it. Seven. Service. Five seven. Time for a double pointer to get him back level. Yeah, he needs something. Great half long serve, got his forehand in as a result. Yeah. Gavin just retrieving beautifully. Five, Gavin's eight. so much better than Milshin at moving in and out from the table. No double point yet. It's going to run away this game. Yeah. <coughs> the risk that it'll be too, too late for it to be of any use eight, if he allows it six, to. Service. Can't take it now because Rumgay's serving. And this is a troublesome for time for Milchin, you know, because he doesn't know what to do with Gavin serves. I don't know what to do. Yeah, it's not a time to be inventing new stuff that you haven't practiced before. <coughs> Yo, come on! Well, a lifeline. Eight, He's only a point seven. behind. Feels that the momentum's with Rungate. Brave return that was going down the line there. Gavin wasn't expecting it. Defensive from the from the return of serve there, Milkin came back in well after oh a couple of shots, but he Seven, can't be doing with nine, missing that one. Service. There. He was a favourite for it, and then fortune changed a little bit, and then Milton just missing the slightly easy forehand. Double point, Genia. Double point. He's only six way, six points away from losing yeah. this match altogether. Seven, ten. I can't believe he's not using it. Easy to forget. Time out for Milchin. No, he's gone for a big time out. Maybe Dennis will remind him he's got the opportunity of it. So yeah. Dennis with some, some thinking to do. I think what we need here is a clear strategy. Yeah, but I mean, again, I think Rumgis is that good, uh, which I, this is probably the best I've seen him play against a great player, and just so calm. You know, there's not too many twists and turns wrong with today. But I mean, I think um, Rumgis has played impeccable. The serves have really shown, you know, and uh, I think Milton's serves are just starting the rally. Rumgis serves is putting them directly under pressure. You know, whether you do you flick it, do you push it, you know, you don't know, you know, if you can run on it and attack it. So I mean, that's the biggest issue, that him knowing that Rumgis is going to win at least. 50% of his serves for free, you know, I think that's a big, big thing there. And none of the other top players have those kind of serves. Okay, so we're getting a bit of nutrition in. Mars looks nervous opening that packet. I think it's excitement. I think he can see a place in the, in the semi-finals very, very close for Gavin. Well, Mars and Gavin are in the money. $6,250 to the winner of this. And a chance to win the next match as well. Vlad Farkas there in the background. Seven, ten. And Andrew Bagley still watching.
a little nod. Sounds like he, he knows what's going on and he knows how he wants to, he wants to approach it. Ten, eight, so two service. games to one. So Gavin Rungay, best of five, so he just needs this one or the next one. Just missing that it. shot there, just missing it. 10 8 and serving. James yeah. fast serve to the backhand. Both Ten players now nine. missing the big forehands. Yeah, I think Ron is overdoing it. He's just going to make him play over it. He's missed two shots down the line, but you know, it's just the right way to play. But I think with Ron just being up, he needs to just make sure that he tries to get easy mistakes from Milton. Well, he went for the big forehand again, Darius, and to be fair, Nine, he had the courage 11, to do it, made it work service. on the first one, and then the follow-up was good as well. Well done, Gavin, very De brave. Definitely, but that shot wasn't as wide. The, those shots they missed before were just going up the end. He True. put that one in the middle of the forehand side, just to make sure that it's, it's on, which was great, just um, change from Gavin. Oh, serves off. Oh, serve. Went for the fast one Nine, down the line. 12. He has to use the double point. No, surely. Oh, Power! Well, this will come back to one point Double deficit point if he takes this point. Loses one point if he loses, gets two points oh. if he wins. Oh, yeah. And there's the flick of the match. 13, Short nine, serve. service. Steps in for the flick. Beautiful oh, return from oh, Gavin, oh. right on the white right line. Beautiful. 13, nine. And that's the double point ball destroyed. So 13, 9 and serving for Rumgay. Two serves for the match. He needs them both. <laughs> can you feel it? 14, can you feel it, he says. Well, I'm sure he can feel it. 14, 9, match point. I mean, what a player. <laughs> yeah, he's feeling the need to let out some of his excitement now, isn't he? Yeah, but he won't let this slide very easily. Steely look. Fast serve down the backhand again. Milking, lovely oh forehand down the line. Couldn't, do the, couldn't make the last game one. And, and the run through to the semi finals to play Andrew Bagley. That's plenty, I think, Gavin.